Hey my little Pichirunis, welcome back to a new video. Do you want a little throwback to the past to kick off today's video? Because today we are going to be doing a challenge I last did. I thought it was two years ago. It's actually nearer three years ago because we're going to be doing the pre-built room challenge. Basically, you have to create a sim house using only the pre-built rooms. When I last did this, there were a lot less pre-built rooms. So this is actually going to be fun because there are way more rooms now than there were the last time I did this. Also, guess what there's way more of this time around? Eyebrows! My eyebrows were so tiny. Like, what? This is the last time I did this video. June the 10th, 2018. Pre-made rooms only. I remember that day was incredibly hot. There is a beanie roo. And my background was also way more chill. I went very planty since then. And we now have pink lights. So, you know improvements. And oh my gosh, I think I've done this one time before as well. The last time we did this, we created Holly's house on um, the Windel Windersham? No. Win 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 Windenburg Island. The Windenburg Island. This time though, I have gone to Brindleson Bay because there's a lot here. I've never built on these like four lots together, which includes like the Pepperstone Park. Um, there's a lot here that has nothing on it in my game where I like to build, my save game where I build stuff. So I thought we would give this lot right here a go. So today we will be using this lot for this challenge. I really encourage you guys to give this a go. It's so much harder than it looks because it's hard to like make all of these rooms like work together. Like you place it like this and then you have to try and make a house using just the pre-built room. So more difficult than it sounds. And it's actually really fun to like test your brain out on placing rooms and trying to create a flow in the house. So that is what we're going to be doing today. If you guys do decide to give this a go, please go ahead and tweet me pictures of your houses and stuff. I would love to see them. Also, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a cheeky thumbs up and make sure you subscribed and hit that notification bell so you can catch more build and cast challenges on this channel. So I am just gonna go ahead and wipe the whole of this lot. I like to start with a nice fresh clean page and I want to create something that kind of fits in with Brindleton Bay which is kind of I don't know that house is very modern but these ones are kind of cute vibes aesthetics so let's see what we got. However I'm not gonna just buy rooms from the Brindleton Bay park. Okay so I Brindleton Bay park also known as cats and dogs. I like to start with the hallway so I want to see, oh my gosh, a seance parlor from Paranormal. I want to see if there's any hallway vibes that we can kick things off with. This seasonal hallway, I definitely used last time. So I don't want to use that one again. Although it may be the only one. We could always go for like a green house hallway. I don't know. A whole bowling alley well. And I, I like really rarely go into this side of the game. I don't use these packs a great deal. However, I think if I was on console, I would use these so much more because I imagine it's more fiddly placing things. So these must actually be pretty useful for that. Okay, I might do the entryway going directly into a kitchen instead. Yeah, something like this is cute. Oh! I used that kitchen last time. Well, what I'm learning is my style has not changed very much. Although this to me looks like it could kind of work. So this is the alchemist scullery. There's a few different color schemes for it. I kind of want to keep... Let's go kind of bright for now at least. And here is the doorway. Okay, let's just go ahead and pop that down. Let's see what we'll work working with. So like, like it feels like it could be an entryway to a house. So I feel like that kind of works. However, I'm now like mentally in my head trying to plan like, well, there'll be no windows. I might have to build a porch. I think that's okay. As long as the rooms themselves are like EA's own creations. So we've got our entryway. Now we need to start building rooms and stuff off of this. Let's see what living rooms are on offer. Now I really like the stuff from um, this new paranormal park. I think the furniture is really cute. And I also feel like the stuff from Realm of Magic and the stuff from Paranormal, they have a similar energy. They could kind of work together. Problem is trying to fit it in. I may have to create some like hallways to connect some of these rooms together. And what I might have to do as well is just kind of standardize all the windows on the outside of the house. Otherwise I just feel like things could end up looking sort of weird. And I feel like a bathroom here could be a good idea. And there are some, that's a cozy little bathroom. And that one is too. Oh, that one's cute. Is that base game? That's a base game bathroom. But I want it to kind of fit this. I don't know, I have like a bit of a kooky, cute feel going on right now. Oh, that's cute. So because I've gone for like Realm of Magic and Paranormal, as you can see, I definitely have a style that I prefer. I don't know, I feel like that has a, oh, gosh, get rid of that window. Sorry, window. That has a similar kind of cute, homesy sort of feel. Why is there so much space here? What is the deal with that? It's like an unnecessarily big bathroom right now. I mean, it's just, it's too big. It's too big. This is an itty bitty bathroom. Oh, that really is itty bitty. And then this one's smaller as well. This natural washroom. I, I don't know how I didn't realize this, but I've just realized that this has a whole cauldron. A whole cauldron and a ghost 
Th okay. Um, I don't want to en enter my house with a cauldron. I don't know. Just no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm a start again. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see a whole ass cauldron. Oh, geez. Might remember this kitchen. Let me know in the comments if you remember which of my series we had this kitchen in. Oh, this is cute. Base game again. Kitsy, kitsy kitchen. We are kind of starting from scratch. I'm beginning again. <gasps> the eco kit, the eco living room's cute. I sort of feel like you could knock this wall through and have those two rooms. Like, they, they have a similar vibe. I feel like they'd work together. Should I try knocking down the wall and see? I'd probably, I know this is a slight tweak, but just so that, like, it makes a little bit more sense. And also, I feel like this is a breakfast bar counter island. You could surely put matching stools under there, right? They just haven't done it. Yeah, like, you could put stools there just so that it makes a bit more sense and there's somewhere to sit. Okay, I feel like that kind of, they kind of works together. Especially if you continued that wood. Okay, I'm enjoying this so far. Which wallpaper? Do I continue this one or this one? No, definitely that one. Okay, that room makes sense. I like that. <gasps> and the laundry pack has like this little outdoorsy garden vibes, which I think is very adorable. Can that attach somehow? I'm trying to line up the door. That could kind of work. That could work. Is there like a conservatory? Oh man, there's so many cool outdoorsy spaces. There's a graveyard. <gasps> Ooh, this has got a hot tub. And I am potentially getting carried away just doing the outside rather than the inside. But let me just uh, pop this over the door maybe. Because you wouldn't, you could get rid of that then. And extend this. And my, my house is very short. <laughs> I definitely need some rooms at the front. Okay, let me just pick up my whole girl and just move her back a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, that has a TV over a hot tub. Like what? This is so freaking cool. Also, this is very much like on brand for me getting really excited about features that have always existed in the game. I just don't use them very much. Okay, what else we got? I was kind of wanting to put a little laundry room here if I can fit it in. So I might have to shift that way, but I, I feel like we should have some rooms at the front of the house. And we still need like a room that I can repurpose to be like a hallway. Ah, oh, there's a laundry room and there's a laundry room room too. Oh, that one's so cute. Definitely needs to shift over. Stop getting distracted, Claire. <laughs> See, little rooms like this. This is firm focus. It's in the study. I think some of the studies look like they could work as entry hallways too. This one in particular. Oh my gosh, look at that room. <laughs> Okay, I might try this one. Muse room, base game again. But I'm gonna have to have a stairway. So I, I have to like extend the back of the room slightly, just a little bit of cheats, um, just to get a staircase in there. Cause I'm pretty sure there's no room, there's no like pre-built staircases. And I need a way to get upstairs. Oh, that's really cozy. The squared office. Doesn't have any color variations, but oh wait, they're actually super similar. Okay, so I've put the stairs in just real quick. And then I probably will replace this with an arch. Just because that looks pretty nice. Those windows are gonna have to go. Oh, oh my gosh, I turned my shader off and I was like, oh, oh, oh. burned. It literally burned my eyes. And I'm thinking I've done the color wrong. Look, because I went for this white one. But this is like more, no, maybe, maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. I think this needs to be like white or gray. Yeah, that might work better. Okay, it's a very square house right now. Just like, ee, 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 ee. I usually like to do bay windows and stuff. Uh, but these rooms are all perfectly rectangular or square by the looks of it. But I wanted some kind of, uh, let me just move everything over again because I've got a little archway here. I feel like we need like an activities room, you know? Because we're going to have our laundry room here, you know, because I do laundry so much at The Sims. <laughs> and that leaves, that's a massive laundry room for a house this big, but we'll ignore that. We've got a room here. We've already got a living room at the back. Um, we need some windows here. And we've got a kitchen. Maybe some kind of, yeah, activities room. Are a kid's playroom? Do they need them? Nah, they don't. There's a knitting room from Nifty Knitting. That could kind of work. Also, I kind of can't imagine a knitting room being connected to, oh, but it's kind of awkward. It's an awkward connection. I was gonna say, it makes sense to be connected through to the laundry room. Like it's not that weird, but having this like little double doorway thing is kind of weird, so no. Okay, that kind of works. Things do be kind of working so far. I'm gonna put a bathroom here. Back to the old bathroom drama where they're all freaking huge. I think I'm just gonna go for this um, tiny living itty bitty bathroom and then have it connecting at the hallway. I, I will standardize all the doors. Doors and windows and like outside shell, I will standardize everything. And I just shifted this over to that side. I kind of like it against the stairs. I think that's kind of a vibe. And then, okay, this isn't looking terrible. I, it's the shape. The shape of the house is what I'm worried about. But let's check on some bedrooms and an upstairs hallway. Um, the hallways are the tough bit, honestly. <gasps> that's so cute. 
Again, get distracted. <laughs> Getting really distracted by the outside area. But look, I could have like a um, greenhouse. That would be cute. There's a huge like blob here that's annoying me. I have to move that there. And um, they've somehow, don't ask me how, because um, I couldn't tell you, but they have attached the TV <laughs> through some amazing means to the, to the grass, to the um, bush. Again, let us not question this sorcery. Let, let us just accept it. I mean, look, that, that is some craftsmanship, craftsmanship right there. And I'm not sure if like, ah, uh, maybe it would fit actually. I was gonna say like some of these bedrooms are just maybe a bit too big and too much for this house, but I actually think they could work. I like this one, the Arcanist Retreat. That one is too big. Okay, Sag. This fits though, comfy caress. It's really pink. Kind of low-key wish I went for the blue one. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this vampire I place. Oh, I should be using this for my vampire series, for my like, um, you know, my basement, I, uh, my extreme vampire challenge where I put my dead vampires or my hibernating vampires. That would be a whole vibe. Oh, well, I'll put that blue one back. I want to put here, like the bathroom, the ensuite. Though I have just realized how, <laughs> How are we supposed to get to that? Okay, that kind of works. And then I saw like this cute kid's room that was like a shared room. <gasps> Although look at this adorable one, the sweet Kama Remy room. That's really cute. Look at this, and this. But yeah, look at this little, oh, it's a dorm. I thought it was like a shared kid's room, but it's actually a dorm. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one then because I think that's adorable. And my house is looking very higgledy piggledy. I'm still like looking at other houses to try and make it. <laughs> It's meant to blend in. Could be a strug. And I've got a stairs issue that I did not consider. <laughs> if these stairs wrap the other way, would it look really weird? I feel like it would. That work, it does look, it does work better though. Does that look okay? Does that look weird? I, I think it looks okay. I don't like this floor and particularly, but why are you so shiny? Why are you like gold bars encrusted into the floor? I do not know, but I'm trying to like use the rooms to create the hallway if that makes sense. Because I want to put another bedroom as well. So we've got like family bathroom, young kids room, and then like a older kids room. Oh, that's a little bit too big. That would work, but it's a bit big. That works a lot better. And then what do I do here? Ooh. Oh, I can, oh, oh, it's just a little bit too big, but I can almost fit a, well, the um, sauna. I can almost fit a sauna. That would have been really cool. It's totally the wrong way around, but you know what I mean. But it's a bit too squishy. I've just taken a load out of the buff the bedroom. So I can't really do it, but that would have been a whole vibe. I put that sauna in my suburbs house. Jeez, it's like trying to fit everything in. Like that fits, but it's a really tiny, boring little like study. I guess it looks a bit more vibey in different colors. But trying to like fit everything in is actually so finickety. We have created like a little hallway just with enclosed rooms, but I want something more jazzy here. You know what, but it, I'm gonna go for this, <laughs> but oh, it's a fixture. I was gonna have it coming off their bathroom and have the door this side, but it's a fixture. Uh, I could just move it into their bathroom like this. Just shift their bathroom along one. And then they actually have a sauna coming off their bathroom, which I think is really freaking cool. And actually fits perfectly. Okay, I need to decide on a door that's gonna be the same everywhere. I think these ones kind of match the house, so. Let's pop these doors everywhere. And I do not have the problem as well. Well, I need to build a front to the house. I need to finish off the garden, which I'm actually really hyped about. Um, but the other problem I have is roofs. And I kind of hate roofs. So this should be fun. Is there like um, front garden vibes? Like, can I put like a front on the house here? Mm, too small. How much space have they got at the back? I can go back a bit. This challenge is basically maths, the game. I was like, oh, this is cute. What the hell? <laughs> I was like, I could put this at the front. And then I realized that there's this growing everywhere. This bit's cute, that bit not so much. This though, from Romantic Garden, that kind of works. I might change it to this just so everything matches, but at least gives us some nice vibes at the front of the house. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What, the garden ones are so big. Why are you so huge? Oh, <gasps> what? Okay, that flowery escape from, is that from like, is there a garden stuff park? Backyard, that's from backyard. I'm like literally trying every, every single possibility to try and get like a nice front of my house. So that kind of works too. I was stretching that one along uh, just so it like meets the back because I, I, I like things to be like somewhat contained, you know? But I think this one might work better and I'll just like continue that instead. Yeah, that much is more because it's like the white vibes around here as well. So I can just grab me two of those. 
Because look, with one of these on each side, it kind of looks like a good front. I think so at least. Uh, it's like a decked front. However, I also want like a porch area and I need some foundations too. And whatever I paint, I think the windows and outside like doors, the doors and outside and the windows all need to be from Brindleton Bay just so that we can like try and match where we are a little bit. So cats and dogs, which I think is fine because this stuff's cute. We can make some nice stuff with this. We've got quite a few window options. Oh, these ones are prettier actually. Oh. I'm trying to like do a thing. Bear with me. I'm trying to do like an entryway vibes without making it like a room so it's just like open so that it's not breaking any rules. Oh man, the windows that work on the inside don't necessarily work on the outside is one thing that I'm learning. But I'm a persevere. I will try and persevere. Okay, okay. We're getting there. Do you have windows in a sauna? I kind of feel like you don't, but here we are putting windows in a sauna. Maybe they can have a circle instead. Yeah, let's do a circle. Okay, windows placed. I can't avoid it any longer, can I? I am gonna have to move on to the roofs. So I want it to fit. Kind of wondering if I do like a little bit of a mini half roof vibe, at least on some bits of it, like the awkwardly shaped bits. That's kind of vibey, right? Although why does that only come in dark? I don't really want to do a black roof. Eh, I could do a black roof. Do they match? Yeah, they, I think they match. Man, I wish this came in white. Cause like, that, is the black a bit like, cause not everything else is so light. They all have black railings, the little balconies. I, I want to do like a roof here as well. I, I still honestly can't tell whether I like or hate this or not, but we shall persevere gang along and just see what we get. I like these little, like little shingly bits. I want to put those in the front and then this bit will be different. Maybe like white panels. Okay, so I put this bit as like the darker, shingly thing um just because i've seen this color like on some of the other houses a little bit i don't i'm just i'm trying my hardest here gang. i am trying and i'm just trying i'm just accessorizing it now because obviously with the um ooh, this now doesn't match oh it's better with the pre-made rooms it obviously doesn't give you like a pre-made outside so we can have a bit of fun with that ourselves we can give it a go so that's kind of what i'm trying now and i love placing flowers in this game <laughs> So I'm just kind of low-key going to town, placing a bunch of flowers. Also, like, I like live for this nonsense. Like, I just love this nonsense. I will always place this on houses. I don't care if it makes me boring because it also makes me happy. So, okay, it's getting very flowery. It's um, definitely a Claire build. <laughs> and I'm staying away from CC just so that if you guys did want to download this, um, it will appear in your game. Okay, I'm getting very carried away. I just, I can't help it. I, I love plants. I can't keep them alive to save my life, but I just, I love placing them. I love putting them in my Sims builds, even if they don't make a great deal of sense and they go through um, entire roofs. I don't care. I just like them, okay? They give me joy. And I think actually the only thing left to do is Oh, why have you done this? Um, who told you you were allowed to do that? Okay, there we go. Oh, we lost the stairs. Oh no. Oh man, I've got to try and put the stairs back in now. I can't put them back in. It won't let me put the stairs back in. Oh, this is bad. Oh, it's because I made the walls taller. So now the stairs don't fit. Uh, I did not think that through. I always get done over by my stairs every time. How do I fix this? Because if I make my walls smaller now, the house looks really like, I don't know, it looks a bit squishy. I like it nice and tall. It looks so much better. Okay, I fixed it. I had to shift everything along one. So some of the rooms look a little bit too long now. Uh, but... <laughs> There's not really much I can do. This room also I'm noticing is like so plain. Like they've not really put much on the walls in here. And I don't know, it all looks a little bit sad, but pre-made rooms, so I'm not gonna mess. Pop my little railing on so my sims don't go flying down the stairs. Not that they ever actually do that, but you know, I like to imagine them being Egypts. And I think everything's connected. Okay, I think we're done. This bit here, obviously, it is a bit trudge. However, all of the garden stuff is so big that there's not really like a way for me to like fit a garden in there without me just completely taking over everything we've already got. It just, it's a bit much. I might just give them a tree. I'll be kind. Have a cats and dogs tree so that you fit in with the vibes of the neighborhood. Just finish off with a little bit of painting just to make it look 
even more vibey. And I think we're ready for a little tour. So here is our, is this my second or third time I've done this challenge? I don't know, check the other ones out on my channel though. So we can see if I'm getting any better over time or if tragically I'm actually getting worse, which you know, would not, would not surprise me. I know what I'm like. I know my abilities. Let's have a little tour inside. So here is how it looks from the outside. I tried, by the way, making all of the windows like a darker, but I don't know. I like the fact that that front bit stands out quite a lot. I tried to make it look like it fits in with um, the cats and dogs land, Brindleton Bay. Uh, so let me know if you guys think I did a good job. But here is our little house. And you guys remember the rules. Every room has to come from the pre-made rooms. And we just got to try and make them all fit together to somewhat assemble a a, um, assemble a nice vibey house. So here is my little entryway. This I would say is the most tragic part. Uh, oh, where are we off? This is for me the most tragic part. I wish I'd done something different here. It's meant to be a knitting room, but it's so sparse. Like it just, it doesn't have the cozy vibes that I was hoping for, but whatever, we live and learn. Um, I like the entryway and I like the look through to the kitchen living area at the back. We've got a little mini bathroom here. I like this. I'm glad we went back and tried this again so that there's no way out. <laughs> You can't escape this room. There's no way to the, oh my gosh, give me a sec. Okay, sorry about that. We fixed it. So I'm really glad we changed this from the one where there was just a big cauldron in the middle. Eco lifestyle here. This I think potentially base game vibes. Oh my gosh, Claire. Why am I the way that I am? There is a just random archway here. Okay, shush, you saw nothing. Okay, and then you go through this door right here into the laundry room. I, okay, so you go into the laundry room. I hate doing laundry. It's literally the most boring task in the world, but apparently people love it because it's a laundry park. So there we go. We have a laundry room out of this door that's honestly far too small and I probably would replace, but it kind of came with the room. So we're going to keep it. Uh, into our hot tub. This bit is like hot tub TV vibes, 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 vibes. And then this bit is like, oh, cutesy. Oh, what's that? We're gonna hang our laundry up. Oh, look, a cute little greenhouse. Yes, this house actually has a greenhouse. There we go. Greenhouse vibes with these little little circular windows there as well, which I thought was kind of cool. You can also access the front of the house around this side bit here, which is very cozy. We are gonna be heading our little butts. I was like, oh no, the stairs just stop, but it's fine. It's because they are a spiral staircase. There we go. So you've got your bathroom here. The bathroom's kind of weird because it does go into like this little porchy bit a little bit, but I thought that might be like an extra bit of a privacy vibe. The shower is against the window. I make this mistake a lot. It's there. Let's just embrace and accept it. And then you've got the Mount Komorobi cute vibes kids room. It didn't have any curtains, so I didn't add any because I don't know if that's against the rules or not, but I didn't add any. Then you've got like a teenager vibe room in here and then master bedroom in here complete with ensuite, complete with sauna. I think this is the best part of the whole of the build. The fact that it has a sauna, I think that's really cool. And boom, I I honestly, I, I'm not like, I wouldn't say building is my strength at all, but I do feel like over time, I'm starting to get a little bit better at building. Let me know what you guys think. This one, obviously I don't do the decorating because it comes with the park, but fitting all those rooms together is still kind of a mission. And I quite like where we ended up. I do think the house is pretty looking. Like, I like the way that the house looks. It's not like a weird McMansion vibe. It's got like a nice shape to it. It makes sense. It makes my eyes happy when I look at it. So I feel like that is a plus. Let me know if you guys agree. Uh, let me know how you think I have done on this challenge. I actually think, you know what? Let's go for that there so it matches that. That's kind of cute, right? Or is it better like that? Oh my gosh, I just accept and move on. Just accept and move on. I like it better white. There we go. Okay, let me know what you guys think of my pre-made room challenge. Uh, do you want me to upload this house onto the gallery? Let me know in the comments below. I keep trying to change stuff. What is wrong with me? I literally cannot help myself, apparently. I just think that looks cozier. <laughs> let me know what you guys think of it. I'm gonna stop playing with it now before, because I will just never ever stop um, clicking otherwise and changing stuff. I will keep on this all day long if I have to, which I don't want to because I got the stuff to do. So let me know what you guys think of it and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. And I recommend you give this challenge a go. It's all in-game stuff. If you've got parks, you have these pre-made rooms. So everyone should be able to give this a go. Have a go at it. It's harder than it looks and it's really fun. So see you guys in another video. Goodbye.